This is the Salmon River of central Idaho. We're in the lower section, just a few miles above its confluence with the Snake River. And as we come through this section, the geology of the canyon is dominated in many places by these rocks behind me here. These are the Columbia River basalts. These erupted about 16 to 17 million years ago from big cracks, what we call fissures, in the ground in eastern Washington and eastern Oregon. Most of that lava flowed westward into the Pacific Ocean, but some of it pooled up along the border country with Idaho to form these extensive lava flows you see here. Some of the lava went all the way to the Pacific Ocean down the ancestral Columbia River Gorge, uh, some 300 miles away, really extraordinary. And one of the telltale signs of the Columbia River basalts are these beautiful, spectacular uh, columns that you see here. These are called columnar joints, and they tend to be hexagons, or pentagons, but the way that these form is as the lava cools uh, and solidifies, fractures develop in it as it shrinks, and those fractures are 120 or so degrees apart, and so they form these nice prismatic columns like you see behind me here. The Columbia River basalts are also interesting because some of their individual lava flows are nearly 200 feet thick. So in a single lava flow, we have nearly 200 feet of rock that's formed from that one single eruptive event. And the Columbia River basalts cover an immense swath of the eastern Washington and Oregon country called the Columbia Plateau and uh, has sort of uh, made that landscape much more flat than what it once was. And in places, those lava flows are several thousand feet thick. So an interesting event uh, geologically in this area and makes for some spectacular scenery on a river trip.